So the five senses, sight, smell, taste, uh, touch, and hearing. Uh, as a sighted person, sight is the predominant sense that you rely on day and or night. If it's dark outside and you're home, you have your lights on. Maybe you get up to go to the bathroom and during the night you turn on a light so you can see where, where you're going. When you're blind, you can't do that. When you're blind, you rely on an array of other senses to help you navigate. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do that as a blind person. Rufus, come on, bud. Rufus. So this dog here, the yellow guy, chillaxing, is Neeson. He's my guide dog, but I'm going to leave him at home today. Louie over here is a pet. Hello, handsome. I'm going to leave him at home today too. Come on, Rufus, come on. Rufus, come on. The lazy dog. This is Rufus. Rufus is, is walking away from me right now. Okay. Oh no. See? Blind. Totally blind. If you didn't think I was blind before, now you know I'm not kidding. So, I'm going to take Rufus for a walk today. And I'm going to walk around my block. I'm going to leave my guide dog at home. I'm going to leave my cane at home. And I'm going to exclusively rely on my other senses, those being touch and hearing, to successfully navigate my environment. Now, <laughs> all the dogs want to go. Just because blind people cannot see does not mean that blind people do not have the ability to effectively navigate their environment or live meaningful lives. My fiance, she's just become my fiance. That sounds weird saying that. We have this conversation a lot because she is sighted and she is very surprised when it comes to how I can do things. And she is learning very quickly that just because I can't see, I'm just gonna shut the door to put my boots on, does not mean that I am not able to figure out what's going on around me so I'm in Ottawa downtown Ottawa we just had a big snowstorm yesterday which is gonna make this even more interesting so this is my cane leaving that here I'm going to grab my dog's leash for Rufus So this isn't something you want to try at home unless you're crazy, and I'm a little crazy, so if you are crazy, knock yourself out. No, you're staying here. Rufus, come on, bud. So this is Rufus. Rufus is an old man. He's a Great Dane. He is 11. Almost 11. Well, well, well let's go this way. So hearing is very important for a blind person. Touch is also very important for a blind person. And getting lots of Great Dane hugs is also very important for a blind person. Hello. So first thing I do is just wait to make sure nobody's coming out. Going down. And I should have my mask on right now, shouldn't I? Hey? Elevator no buttons are in Braille. So this is Rufus, he takes up half the elevator. Don't you? Yeah. He's my fiance's dog, Colleen is her name. She's not here right now, which is probably a good thing because she, she would freak out if she knew I was doing this. <laughs> Wait to see if anyone's here. Nobody's here. Go ahead.
Okay, so as I said, it did snow yesterday. We got a good 10 centimeters, so this is going to be more interesting than it would normally be. So basically relying on touch, because we had a big snowstorm and because we've had snow pretty much consistently all week, there are pretty big snow banks, as you can see here. So as long as I stay within the tracks from people walking, this roof is having a pee. Don't know if you can hear that on my camera or not. So we just take our time. Uh, Rufus likes to sniff a lot on his walks, which is good. Uh, he just likes to plod along, take his time, which when you're not, when you can't see what you're doing and you're not using your cane, it's probably a good thing that you take your time. <laughs> Normally when there's no snow, we walk a fair bit quicker. And I do bring my cane just to show people that I am blind, but I rarely use it. Come on, bud. So again, this is a video for another time, but as far as hearing goes, hearing is very important, almost as important as touch. I can hear things around me. I can hear the air changing when something is in it, in that space. So for example, this. I can hear it as I walk past it. I can't see it, but I know it's there. Yep, good boy, Rufus. Coming up to our first turn. Rufus might actually poop for you guys, so you guys can see how I pick up dog shit. <laughs> what are you doing there, bud? Oh, you're just sniffing, eh? So again, it's critical to pay attention to what's going on around me as far as staying on track. I have no usable vision. car on my right. I know it's there. I can't see it, but I know it's there. I can hear that it's there. And I do drag my feet when I walk. Some of it, some of that is habit. Some of it is because it actually helps me pick up the sound that it, my feet make changes when there's stuff around me. Something that you side people would never pick up on. There's the big fella, Rufy Doo. Skinny boy. It's about minus 15 today. Cold. So you can see this snowbank on this side and snow on this side. So the sidewalk's actually pretty clear on this stretch. So as long as I stay on the sidewalk. Uh, I'm good. So I don't know that there's a post here. Oh, it's, it's not a post. It is a post or a, I don't know what it is, but I can hear it. Oh, icicles. Yep. Okay. So sometimes if I... I tap my leg a bit, as well. I tap my leg sometimes too, because again, it gives off a different sound when there's stuff around you versus empty space. So you'll hear me do that a little bit. Some people make like this clicking sound, like uh, that also works. I don't do that, but some people do. Blind people do that.
so here it's very distinct here's a big mound of snow that separates me from the road right now <coughs> here's Rufus just chilling what was a dog in that car <laughs> Rufus didn't rise to the bait. So again, just taking my time, listening to what's going on around me, feeling with my feet, making sure that I'm where I'm supposed to be. Normally I would have my cane out in front. Sometimes I even bring Neeson and I'll have him on my left hand side and a dog on, on my right hand side. And so Neeson is like guiding the way for everybody else. <laughs> Nice sunny day, coming up to a bus stop, can't see it, but I'll tell you when it's there because I can hear it. Here we are right here, bus stop. What do you think big fella? It's nice and cool for you. Stopping for a sniff. <clears throat> So I know our left turn is coming somewhere here. So I'm just gonna feel for it with my foot. Not yet. So this is a good example. So I've missed the turn. I know I've missed the turn because there's a big snow bank here which indicates the edge of the curb. So we're just gonna backtrack and find it. So they haven't plowed this street at all. Hey buddy, can I go on that side? Let me go on this side. There you go. This is not plowed. But again, there's big snow banks on either side. So you just wade through. I can take my glove off. So snow does muffle sound. Which makes it all the more important to be in tune with your... Oh, another P for the big fella, with your uh, hearing. And you always gotta pay attention, especially when you're not using any form of mobility aid. <laughs> when you're crazy like I am. But I just wanted to make a point. And uh, I think I'm making it. <laughs> so yeah, this is a familiar block for me, but I could do this anywhere. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that just because it's true. If you, if you were in tune with your other senses, you would be amazed what you can do. Nope, no roof. Nope, don't go on that side. You need to stay on this side. So here I'll tap my leg just to hear. So I hear an echoing sound. So it just, just tells me what's around me. If I tap my leg and there's a car right beside me, the sound is different than if there wasn't a car beside me. So we're black, black, back on our street. Rufus can have a final sniff. I was hoping he would poop for you guys, but... Have, have you guys ever wondered how big a Great Dane's number two is? I'll tell ya. It is quite massive. <laughs> Oh, Rufus, what a guy. Good job, Rufus. Good job. Rufus just chilling, checking things out, sniffing. 
this is kind of Rufus's thing. Just ho hum. Oh, some deep snow here. And we're pretty much back, so I hope you get, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video. Someone's trying to get uh, Rufus's attention, but he's not playing. He's not falling for that. And we're back. I'll just show you guys how we get back inside. Rufy, come on. Yep. One thing with Rufus you gotta watch out for because of how long he is. You gotta make sure you don't shut him in the uh, door. My fiance had by accident shut the door on his tail before because of how long his tail is. It's like driving a truck versus a car. Okay, dude. So I don't count steps or anything, some people do. When it comes to like steps to the doorway or steps to a turn, I just wing it. Over time, you just become familiar of your surroundings. Right? Hey, hey. Okay, dude. Come on. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys found this entertaining. If so, smash that like button, tell a friend, subscribe, I don't know, do whatever you want to do, and we'll see you on the next one. Won't we, big fella? Yeah, we will. <laughs>